Hey there, Matthias. Gwyn, sir, you're with Colonel Elma's team today? I don't think we've met. My name's Lin Lee Ku. Tatsu is Tatsu. My name's Matthias. I'm the mediator. May I ask what you're all doing together, sir? I needed help on a mission, so I called in a favor. Jeez, Gwyn. Being on Arena's team is already impressive, but this is... wow. Actually, Arena and I both rely on Gwyn a great deal. What? what Really? Man, I wish I could join an Elite Blade team. Maybe if I wasn't screwing up on the job all the time. Whoa, what's with all the doom and gloom, Matthias? You're usually so annoyingly upbeat. Hey now, Gwyn, come on, be nice. What's wrong, Matthias? Maybe we can help. Oh, I couldn't have elites like you wasting time on little old me. I'll work it out myself. It's nothing, really. Matthias not very good at whole lying thing. What? I'm not. Tatsu, smell your desperation. It desperation of friend who cannot decide what to eat for breakfast. Uh, yeah, it's actually more of a work thing, so... Yeah, come on, it's obvious you want to talk about it. Here, why don't you think about it out loud, and we'll just happen to casually over here. That's kind of weird. Matthias, seriously. At the end of the day, we're all Blades here. If there's a problem, then just tell us. Sir, I... Yeah, all right. If you really don't mind, I need your help. Here, take a look at this. Oh my god, how adorable! I love cats. Love to eat them, Lin means. Just like Lin does all adorable creatures. What? I'd never eat a cat. She's my problem, actually. Her name's Aisha, and I need help finding her. Oh no, your cat ran away? That's horrible. I feel silly troubling you with something so minor, but she hasn't been home in over a day, and I'm worried sick. Uh, hold on a sec. I thought you said your problem was work-related. Is the cat somehow related to your job as a mediator? Actually, she is. She's part of a study on the adaptability of Earth species here on Mira. Huh. That does sound important. Yeah, well, it's not like I'm shooting indigens in the face like you guys. Hey, look. Our job might sound more glamorous and exciting. Well, okay, it probably is more glamorous and exciting, but that doesn't make it more important. Quinn's right. We're all working for a better future here on Mira. All parts of that struggle carry equal value as far as we're concerned. Thank you, ma'am. Right then. Let's get out there and find little Aisha. And L.A. is a pretty big place. I'm not exactly sure where we'd start. Are there certain areas she frequented you can tell us about? A few, I suppose. Though I already searched all the nearby parks and such. Beyond that... Hmm, let's see... Do you have anything with her scent on it? Maybe Tatsu here could sniff her out. <laughs> Tatsu is not Bloodhound! How the heck do you know about Bloodhounds? Actually, I just thought of something. A few times she came home covered in oil. Like motor oil or something. It took forever to scrub it off. Motor oil, huh? That would narrow it down to the industrial district and the lower administrative district, no? All right. We'll check out the lower administrative district. Matthias, you take the industrial district. If you find anything, let us know. Understood. Thank you, everyone, and sorry again for all the trouble. By the way, have you heard? 
hurt? Uh. Unbelievable. Hmm. By the way. Luck, sir? No cat, but some info. Did something happen to Aisha? No, nothing like that. A curator saw her, at least a cat that looks like her, down by the cliffside beach. What? You mean she got out of the city? Sounds like it. Oh, my poor Aisha. I have to rescue her right away. Thank you all so much for your help. Whoa, hey, wait, Matthias! That area is teeming with dangerous indigents. Team Tatsu should hurry before Matthias and Kitty Cat become snack for beasties. We've come this far. We might as well see the whole thing through. Hold on, Matthias. We're coming! Oh, crap, looks like they saw us. So much. Are you insane? A non-combatant like you has no business in a place like this. Aisha! Huh? Aisha! Hey, come on, girl! Let's go home! Aisha! Ah. Oh. Well, perfect. We managed to scare her off. Do you have anything she likes? Food or something? She always loves it when I give her her Kieran catnip. Perfect! When Tatsu wander off, Mama Pon always set out food to lure him back. Yeah, well, no Pon and cats seem to be about the same intelligence level, so... Huh?
Hey, are you sure about this? Yeah, I can trigger the door remotely from my comm device once she's inside. So what, we just stand around and wait until she decides to waltz in? Uh, I'm afraid so. Sorry. It's fine. Standing by is an important element of some missions. Ah, she sure is taking her sweet time. You'd think she'd be starving by now. Um, sir? Hmm? Have you ever owned a pet before? Yeah, a dog back on Earth. Why? I could tell from your face when you suggested luring Aisha with food. <laughs> yeah, that dog was an idiot for food. Quiet. Oh. Well, that sure as hell ain't Aisha. Oh no! Aisha! Oh hell, she's gonna fight it! Dude, seriously? Aisha, you idiot! You're the idiot here! Huh? We'll handle this. You and Aisha get back to NLA. Yes, sir. See Aisha's home safe. It's all because of you. Thank you all so much. Just try and make sure she can't get out again, okay? I'm afraid that's not really an option. It's not? Just as we have our missions, Aisha has hers. And that mission is a tough one. To roam this great land of Mira one piece at a time. Wow. Is that how you collect your data? Exactly. Yeah, I need her in one piece for my research. Past that, she's on her own. Oh, please. If this was only about gathering data, you could have used Frontier Nav. Admit it. You were worried sick about her. Hey. Mother, there goes Kitty Cat. Stay safe, little friend. Freedom seems to suit her well. I'm almost jealous. I look forward to the day I can run around in my real body again. Of course it will. We're gonna make it. But until it does, we're on the clock. So let's get moving.
want to team up? Go. Look, the fun police. Here to arrest me, fun police? Save it, murderess. Look, if these lunks want to fight, it's their call. But goading them on is tacky. Goading? <laughs> Who's goading? I just mentioned that I'd take the strongest one along on the next mission. Charming. Hey, more charming than you, at least. Though you seem to be doing all right today. Especially considering the intriguing new friend you have there. Flattery will get you everywhere. I like you. What say you dump Miss Sunshine here and come with me? Hands off, Harpy. We're a team. Oh, fine. I'll join your team. Are you happy now? What? Oh, don't make that face, Arena. You know I love you. Sure, we were born into two very different worlds, but in the end, we grew up in the same one. We can at least pretend to be nice, no? Easy for you to say. You shot me in the back in our last mission. What can I say? It seemed like I could get two birds with one stone. You're terrible. Terribly glad to be teammates again, right? How did I know you would say that? Listen. This is a dangerous woman we're talking about here. How is anyone supposed to trust somebody who calls herself murderous? 
Sure, she's all smiles and sunshine now, but you won't believe what she's capable of. Didn't Mommy teach you to keep your mouth shut if you didn't have anything nice to say? I didn't have a mother, Nicholas, and you know it. Ugh, so serious. Anyway, let's hope it doesn't affect the mission. We should get going. We're on resource gathering duty. Fueling humanities tomorrow, today. Am I right? Typical curator garbage. Boring as hell, but it's a paycheck. Fine. One mission with the little rich girl. But then we're done.
Don't move. Are you kidding me? So observant. What gave it away? I knew you were a sharp one. See, I'm allergic to sharing, so I'm afraid the reward for this job is mine. Can't believe you're doing this. Hey, I could have shot you in the back. I mean, again. Who are they? I told you I planned to use the winners of that fight on my next job. We were the job? This is low, murderous, even for you. Whatever it takes to make my dream come to fruition, sister. You're still chasing that? Hell yes. Now, since we're all acquainted, you have a choice to make. Give up your claim to the reward money, or we break your knees. I should have shot you in the back. You probably should have, because we're gonna make this hurt. Right. So, hey, you guys handle this, all right? I'm headed back. Make sure you grab the stuff when you're done. Yes, ma'am! You just signed your death warrant. Sure, we can do this the hard you way. Make all the Wasn't sure we had that one. I'd love to find the murderess and rearrange her face, but we'd better get back and report this. Which 
skill. You're gonna do great things. Welcome back. I'm so relieved you completed that resource collection assignment. Huh? Sorry, what? You were working with the murderess on a mission, right? Kind of. Well, she just came by and picked up the reward without delivering the goods. She said you'd bring them by. Gave her word on it. I told her that was against regulations, but you know how she is. Anyway, I've been sweating bullets, worried that you might not show. I will strangle her scrawny little... Pardon? Nothing. She got us good this time. Us and those idiots she recruited. Next time, let's do a real mission, all right? One with standards. One that has nothing to do with that little princess. She left a message with it, too. I bet. She just can't resist rubbing my face in it. It's not for you, Irina. It's for your friend. Stop by anytime. I'm always game for another adventure. Then she asked me to wink, but I don't think so. You just got yourself the world's worst fan. 